Do you want to prepare a student database to add their scores and grades according to your school grading system? You want to modify it whenever you want as well? Worry not, we will discuss how to create a student database in Excel today. Hello there, this is Fari Hatulmi from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA related answers. Here we will add score details of 5 students for 4 subjects. We will create a template for student database with their grades corresponding to their scores and add remarks using Excel 365. You can use other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. We have added a title in cell b2 to j2 naming student database before adding the data let's add some column headers so in b4 let's type student id then name marks percent grade remarks For student ID and name, you can manually add data for the cells or you can copy from another source sheet. We have a draft record. We will copy them using Ctrl C and let's paste it in B5, Ctrl V. We have a standard grade distribution database for marks and grade and a total score. Here as well, you can manually add data for the cells or you can copy from another source sheet. From our draft record, we will copy the data values and paste it I4. We have used Ctrl C and Ctrl V for the copy paste function. For the individual scores of each student in four subjects, we have a draft recorded before. Let's copy the database using Ctrl C and paste it in B11 using Ctrl V. The database is getting difficult to understand. How about we add boundaries to the cells? Now select any of the range, say B4 to G9. And go to Home tab under the font group, select the border drop down and go to All Borders. Repeat the process for grade distribution, total marks, and the marks database as well. For the titles, we can just choose them all together using Control key. And from the Home tab, under the font group, we can just bold them, increase their font size, and let's choose a fill color with this. From the alignment group, let's make them center and middle aligned. Now we can see that total mark and great description are out of the box. Let's margin center for this. They look better, right? Now, to get the total marks for John, we need to add the marks of four subjects in cell D5. So, let's try a formula using some function. Tap, enter. So, we get the total marks of John. Let's use fill handle or double click on the bottom right corner. And we can see rest of the cells are autofilled. For grades corresponding to marks, we need to add the percentage first based on total mark. Let's try a formula first. So D5 is the marks for John, and that will be divided by total marks, which is 400. Now it will be constant for all the students. 
So let's make it absolute using F4 or function 4 key. Now let's multiply it by 100 so that we get the percentage value. Enter. Let's use double click on the bottom right corner. There you go. Now we want to get the grades. For grade in F column, we will use a formula with nested if. Let's see how the formula looks. Now, if our percentage is greater than or equals 80, let's go to the formula bar to get a better visual. If the condition is met, we will get grade as A+. Plus. So we can just select this cell or J6. Since A plus will be absolute or constant, we can just click F4 to make it absolute. You can also manually type A plus. Make sure to add double inverted comma on both sides of it. Now, if the value is false, then it will go to another if condition. That is, E5 is greater than or equals 70 then we will have a as we can see from our grade description database a make it absolute and the cycle goes on So this is the final part of our if conditions. Now if E5 or our percentage is greater than 40, then it will show us D or J10. Make it absolute. If not, it will show us F, which is below 40. So let's add J11. Make it absolute. enter now let's double click on the bottom right corner there you go now we want to add remarks according to grade either passed or failed so let's try a formula in cell g5 here we will use another formula using if here our logical test will be based on F5. F5 is equal to J11 or if, let's make it absolute so it doesn't change, then remarks will show failed. Otherwise, if the value is false, it will show passed. Enter. As we can see, the grade is A, so the remark is passed. Let's double click on the bottom right corner. And we can see only when the grade is F, the remarks is failed. Now, we want to add a table using this database. We can just select the entire range B4 to G9. And from the insert tab and from the tables group, we can select table. We can also choose Ctrl T to add a table. As we can see, our range is already selected and to make sure our first row is added as column header, you need to check mark this box. OK. There you go. You can utilize this template now. You can practice creating this database with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve it in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.